Hello and welcome to this special episode of China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. And I'm your producer, Matt Ganesta. Chris, have you ever wondered what the future will be like? We live in the future, Matt. No, I mean the future with hoverboards. He's not a hoverboard! Actually, hoverboards have already been invented. This is a real video from last year of Tony Hawk riding a hoverboard made by the company Hendo. But the downside is that it only works on a special copper-plated surface. And not, say, on water. Not unless you got power. But if you've watched the 1989 movie Back to the Future Part 2, and surely you have, you know what the real future looks like. We're descending toward Hill Valley, California at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? You mean we're in the future? Wow, we are living in the future. Yep. And that's why today we're going to look at the top 10 things Back to the Future Part 2 got right. Number 10, TV screens everywhere. Given that this is what a brand new Magnavox TV looked like in 1985, it's amazing that Back to the Future was so spot on with this. Channels 18, 24, 6300. Giant flat panel TVs, hundreds of channels, even a widescreen aspect ratio. Wow. Number nine. 80s nostalgia. So Marty McFly goes into the cafe 80s. And in 2015, the 80s are back. People love the 80s. Well, the 80s did produce some of the greatest hosts on YouTube. Yeah, anyway, once again, we have jeans jackets, puffy vests, goofy sweaters. Thanks, Katy Perry. Number eight, restaurants without waiters. Did you notice that there are no waiters in the cafe 80s? Yeah, McFly orders a Pepsi from a TV screen. And today we actually have that in a lot of restaurants, like Chili's. Oh, well, baby back, baby back. They have those tabletop tablets. It would be more fun to make President Reagan bring you a drink though. Yeah, but then you'd have to interact with other humans, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. Number seven, hands-free video games. You know that part where the kids say, You have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Well, now we actually have things like the Xbox Kinect and the Wii. Yeah, only babies use their hands for stuff. Number six, machines you talk to. Hydrate level four, please. Hey Siri, do you like to talk with me? I'd rather not say, Matt. Number five. Wearable technology. Sure, man, from hours ago, I have a hard time keeping track it's of fruit. these days. Wow, that looks surprisingly like Oculus Rift. But you know what makes this really accurate? People paying more attention to their technology than their loved ones around the table. Wait, what? Did you say something? Number four. Wait a minute. Cubs win World Series. Against Miami? Yeah, it's something, huh? Amazingly, it is actually possible for the Cubs to win the World Series this year. For the first time in a century. But the movie got the dates wrong, so as of this recording, we still don't know whether the Cubs will win. But you know what they did get right? There's a team from Miami. Yeah, Florida didn't even have a baseball team until two years after this movie was made. And they weren't called the Miami Marlins until 2011. Number three, Surf Vietnam. You might have missed it the first time, but Doc and McFly are actually standing in front of an advertisement that says, Surf Vietnam. In 1989, Vietnam was not exactly a place where you'd want to go on vacation. But now, well, Surf City. Number two, drone reporters. Chris, remember when you used to be a reporter? Yes, I was replaced by a drone. Well, in 2015, a lot of people are using flying drones like this to take pictures and footage. And even though it's technically against FAA regulations for media companies to do it, it's being done anyway. Well, the most accurate part here is that human reporters are being replaced by machines. And number one. Hey, what's that Doc Brown looking through? Yes. Why, it sure looks like an iPhone to me. Boom. Boom. Considering this movie was made almost 30 years ago, they actually got a lot of things right. But you know, they didn't get everything right. And that's why you should check out our other video, 10 Things Back to the Future Part 2 Got Wrong. 
Back to the Future predicted the future traveling 30 years ahead from 1985. So, your predictions for 2045? 全世界的人都会说中文。Sure does.